Hey guys, what's going on? Cater here on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friend. So, a bunch of people have been asking me, yo, Cater, like, what the hell are you doing right now for ads? I haven't made a training for ad, um, for Facebook ad when it comes to Shopify. So today, let's do a Shopify Facebook ads kind of training. I'll give you guys some pointers on what I'm currently using that's working for me right now, but pay attention. Um, most people, people have different methods. I mean, it's been so crazy for all those years that's been going by with people doing Shopify and e-commerce. Facebook has been changing. There's a lot of change that happened with Facebook. I did a live the other day. I posted it yesterday. So check out this video if you do MCA or um, any stuff for the affiliate marketing where you're driving traffic to an offer um, and to make money online. Um, I talk about, you know, your account that got shut down and all that stuff and how to gain them back and stuff. But anyway, let's get into um, Shopify e-commerce right now. Currently, what I'm doing um, as far as driving traffic, what are the methods that I'm currently using? Um, I did a video where I shared the products that I'm currently um, testing. Now, here's how I go with this method. This method is a little bit more advanced that I'm currently using that's getting me a lot of traffic. So for those of you that's gonna be doing this stuff, I highly recommend this is more for people that has a budget. You know, if you have a budget of anywhere between a thousand to five thousand dollars, you know, where you can scale because I'm scaling right now to spending anywhere between five thousand to eight thousand dollars a day. So if you're not on that level yet, you know, you might have to um, refer to a different method or I'll talk a little bit more about, you know, some type of different method that you can actually use. So let's jump into it. Um, I'm going to jump to the board and I'll show you the method that I'm currently using when it comes to um, when it comes to Shopify. So what's happened with a lot of people that's doing e-commerce Shopify, a lot of people want like a one size fit all method. And doing it for a little while, having multiple stores, what I realize, you know, what you're going to realize by now, you realize that every stores, they act differently. You know, something that I might be working for me on my store and I try it on a different store with a different pixel, it's a whole different ball game. Like, that's why it's, it's all about testing and not just test once. That's why I say if you're going to apply this method, you're going to need to have some type of funding, some type of capital for your business, okay? FB method that I'm currently using you're gonna need to have some funding because you might try a product on one account and it doesn't give you as much and then you try it on a different account and you booming you are killing okay let's just do 2018 so if you're watching this now you know it's relevant if you're watching it later Facebook might have changed things because Facebook changes all the time but the principles usually stays the same so here's how I do it so I start with my first ad okay so this is gonna be my test campaign matter of fact I don't do any PPE anymore I go directly because um, at that level that I'm playing right now um, so my my test ads okay at the level I'm playing right now I don't really care for when I'm testing I'm not, I'm not really if you already have a page you already build it up I don't really care to get engagement much to see what people will say about this product I want to get straight to the conversion although that I know that the engagement is nice but I know if I find winning products because I'm testing multiple products so if I if I find winning products more likely it's gonna come with engagement so I do a video view so VV was just do video view on my first ad right and I'm testing for purchase I'm going directly for conversion purchase okay CP purchase conversion so my my pixel automatically once I come into Facebook my pixel goes directly for conversion um, conversion um, pixel so what I would do this is how my test campaign goes all right so now like I said this is not something you're gonna do with a couple of dollars this is something you're gonna do let's say people will tell you do five dollars on five days so that's twenty five dollars my test campaign is about a hundred dollars so what I do here's how my test campaign goes so I'll find a product okay I find a product that's usually already getting sales or traffic and if you don't know how to find product let me quickly jump real quick and show you how to find products product research so if you're a newbie and you're trying to find product I'm gonna give you a quick pointer on how you can find product so go on Facebook right go into your news feed and then you could put stuff like GOO that GL get 
yours now okay so it would be sometime call to action that people put so now you'll see all those product that comes up right those videos so let's go ahead and do videos because all I care about is doing videos so now also I'm gonna do it for 2018 because I want updated stuff so now I got a bunch of videos from 2018 let's see this one 9 million so that was from January this person made a killing so let's look at this one here for example right so let's say I wanted to, to test this product okay this person killed so you can still go after something like that but anything over a hundred thousand I know people are spending money on or four hundred thousand let's look at the comment we're gonna change this from top comment to most recent so we can see if people see one hour so this person is still running this at two hours ago 12 hours ago this person's still running this ad. they start targeting other people into it so I'm using this as an example okay this is how you can come to Facebook and you could put get yours now buy one get one free and then you can start looking at all those other products right now then download the video use something like FB downloader I'm not gonna go through all that stuff guys go to a website go to FB downloader get the link for the video downloaded edit it a little bit on your page put your websites on it at the end or in the beginning or water market for yourself and stuff like that and then just so now you have an ad now we jumping into doing the ad okay my testing on uh, the phase that I go into my testing so I'm testing about a hundred I'm doing a hundred and ten dollars a test so hundred and ten dollars here's how I break down my test because his, if you do what I'm showing you right now, you already know those ads are converting because people are running money through them. So you know they are converting. Now it's all about finding the right audience for it. So let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna do so my ad would be ten dollars, right? So I'm gonna do ten of those. So instead of doing I'm gonna do ten dollars, ten dollars, so that's three, right? Um ten dollars. ten dollars okay now here's what I do now usually I would split right off because I'm gonna multiply this by two so this would be this would be five ads into the ad set right and then I'm gonna multiply this by two two so there's gonna be another set so I can come here let's do another set of ten dollars this is multiply by two okay ten dollars ten dollars $10 and then $10 now what's gonna happen okay so hopefully you can see it so what I do over here if since I'm in the US so I would test all US traffic so at $50 a day and then worldwide traffic the reason I want to do worldwide because worldwide would bring me more traffic and a lot and specifically if you have a new store so your picture will get fired a lot so you can start getting a lot more um, data from Facebook also so that's gonna enable your picture to mature a lot faster also you will be able to get sales a lot of my stuff that I test I start getting a lot more sales overseas because so many people are focused on the US and Canada traffic or top tier traffic US Canada the UK but if you go worldwide and then when you setting up your ad make sure you put your language to be English all okay English also if your ads in is in English that way you targeting people that really understand what the ad is saying and stuff like that so now on the first day I'm looking to spend 10 times 10 that's a hundred dollars so anywhere between a hundred dollars to hundred and ten dollars that's for testing a product most people will tell you five dollars a day you'll see but this is a method that if you want to go big and you already find what's already winning you're gonna be able to expand a lot faster and then see what's working a lot faster so sometimes you're gonna spend a hundred dollars I'm, I'm telling you guys be ready this is not like oh my god this is you know if you really wanna be dope and win big this is how I do it so I'm gonna see I, I'm willing to lose a hundred dollars on some products but once I find the winner let's say I got a few of them products that I'm not winning I spent a hundred dollars I made like ten bucks so I made no money I can't really scale it up but if I made a hundred dollars and I have a like three or four five cells even if I'm losing half of the money guess what I do on the next day now I'm gonna have data so you're gonna have data well fast so that's day one so this is day one okay so let's put day one over here day one so now you're gonna have data 
So now you're gonna move into day two now, okay? So we're gonna move into day two. So if you need this screenshot, if it's making sense to you, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you tried this method, the strategy as it worked for you, okay? So you can screenshot this method. Okay, now let's move on. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this. We're gonna move into day two. Let me create a new one. So FB method. All right, 2018. So we're going to do day two now, okay? So now day two. Day two, what I'm going to do now. So on day two, usually you're going to find like three or two or three of your ad sets that are creating most of your results. Because remember, I'm already, I'm not doing like um, all those view video, but what my pixel is setting for is for purchase. So anything that has that's been purchased any sale that I made has been tracked so you're gonna go inside of your ad and look from your tracking okay from your pixel look for where your pixel has been fired on on sales so you would have those sales so what you want to do if you have like three of them like let's say you have like three ad sets that made sales and the like seven are not winning so what you want to do kill those seven automatically just kill them you kill them, and then what we're gonna do now, let's say we have three ad sets that made money, right? So, one, two, three. Those three ad sets made money. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna totally duplicate those 10 times, duplicate. So you're gonna go to your Facebook, there's gonna be a little option on top that allow you to duplicate your ad set. So you can select all three of them, and my writing so bad select all three ad sets and then duplicate them 10 times duplicate 10 times all three of them duplicate 10 times okay so times 10 now guys I would love to show you a live example um, but let me know okay I have a live example because I'm doing this live right now and I don't have time to edit it but I want to show you, if you would be interested in me showing you one of my ad example that I run live and that's profitable, I'm going to have to like maybe hide and not give in the product because it's kind of a new product right now and we're crushing it. So I don't want to put it out there just right now. But if you would be interested in seeing a live example of an, an ad that we've done the same strategy on that's killing, leave a comment down below. Let me know and we can get got going. So that would give you 30 ad sets at, at $10. So 30 at $10, that, that would jump you already at $300, okay? So now, that would be day two. But usually, what ended up happening, I just duplicate. So when you're duplicating, number key, key, key point, okay, key point. Go to your audience on Facebook and then do an audience of everybody who's seen the video. Everybody who's seen the video, you want to put them in an audience. So you want to go to Facebook and create an audience, Facebook audience. And then you're going to create a scene audience. So everybody who's seen the video, you want to put them in, audio, in an audience because, because of the fact that you're duplicating. So you don't want the same people who seen the ad to see it again. So this strategy, you always want your scene audience, your duplicated um, ad for you to exclude. So when you're doing your ad, you want to exclude your audience so that you're not seeing, you're not seeing each other. So now at $10, you really scale, you can scale. I have a one campaign that has 800 duplicates at $10. So that's about $10, $8,000 a day on that campaign. And it's making us uh, really, really great money. So it really, we still about 30% in profit. And it's going up to like 40% now, which is amazing. So don't be scared about duplicating. But always remember, when you're duplicating, always exclude, exclude, exclude the scene audience exclude scene audience so that would be one way to scale up and then the next way to scale up will be your lookalike audience okay lal lookalike audience so that's gonna come after you just made a killing off of that so this is my strategy that right that's winning for me right now um you know there's other people that might have different things it's really up to you what you want to follow so test to see what's going to work for you this might work so you know i get a product that's already winning you know get 10 10 um ads going inside of the campaign right 10 ad sets inside of the campaign going and then on the next day what i do i killed 
every loser will fast and then I scale up the winner any winners that I have I scale them 10x so 10x I create an I exclude the audience right I create an audience for that video that same video I exclude my audience in all in everything in all the the ad that I'm duplicating and then the next day again bam I duplicate all my winners to 10x again and the next day again bam I duplicate all my winners to 10x again so now instead of having just one ad set that's it's like you have a bunch of them now you have a killer you have like 80 you have a hundred access at ten dollars and now you're still duplicating you're still killing and soon that you start passing a hundred a hundred sales create some lookalike audience and now create a whole what I would do take the data move it to a whole different account do your lookalike audience on a whole different account so that you're not interfering with the current account so you can move the pixel to your, a different account now and then now you helping big time with the pixel building it on the other side with a lookalike audience data and now you just straight up killing it but anyway guys just wanted to share this stuff with you i hope it makes sense that was your boy cater if you appreciate this video leave it a like give it a thumbs up you know keep crushing for those of you who still going after your dreams still trying to make it happen still pushing hard you know do not stop it's amazing what you could create um for your life and your family that was your boy cater i'll see you guys on the next video see you guys later Pound that. You're going through some hard times.